Welcome back to section six, lesson one, part three. So we've seen service oriented architecture, service versus process, and we've also seen single node versus clustered installation. So let's move on. Let's understand the next concept, which is Windows only platform. What does this mean? ClickView desktop and ClickView server service are written in C++. However, the other services, ClickView management service, ClickView distribution service, etc., are written in C Sharp using .NET Framework. Traditionally, .NET Framework is built around Windows platform. Although a few months back, Microsoft announced that .NET Framework will be supported on Linux and OS X, which is great. So one more important point to note is Ajax clients and ClickSense UI are written in JavaScript, HTML5, and CSS. So let's jump on and let's look at the next concept, which is HTTP versus QVP protocol. Communication in ClickView is divided in two phases. One, client to web server, and the second one being web server to QVS. So the Ajax client uses HTTP or HTTPS as a protocol for communication between client browser and the ClickView web server or Microsoft IIS. And it is strongly recommended to protect the communication between the browser and the web server using SSL or TSL encryption over HTTP protocol. When you encrypt the HTTP protocol, it becomes HTTPS. If the communication is not encrypted, then there is risk that it is sent in clear text. So the communication between the web server and the QVS happens via QVP, where ClickView protocol is encrypted, it's binary, and it communicates directly via port number 4747. Windows clients like your ClickView desktop and IE plugin, which is an OCX object, communicate directly using QVP protocol. These clients don't require a web server to establish and maintain a connection with the server. QVP is normally used by client using IE plugin. If the communication doesn't happen via QVP protocol, then communication is tunneled via HTTP to the web server. Hope you understood the difference between HTTP and QVP protocols. So let's continue. And the next one is IE plugin versus Ajax. Let's go ahead and understand the fundamental differences between IE plugin and Ajax. Plugin works only on Internet Explorer. However, Ajax client is supported by all browsers. So you can use Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser. But plugin fully dependent upon Internet Explorer because OCX is designed by Microsoft. That is why you'll see the restriction on plugin. And the next one is IE plugin requires additional installation, whereas Ajax is a zero footprint client, so you don't need any installation at all. And remember, IE plugin supports all the macros, and you can use the COM API. And Ajax has limited support on macros. And there is very good functionality in Ajax client, which is session collaboration and annotations. So these are not available in plugin. These are only available via the Ajax client. So as explained earlier, um, IE plugin is built on OCX and Ajax is built via JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and few other JavaScript libraries. Communication protocol, IE plugin uses QVP protocol or HTTP for tunneling, whereas Ajax uses HTTP or HTTPS protocol. So if it's secured, it'll be HTTPS. If not, it'll be HTTP. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, HTTP protocol is not encrypted, where the messages are passed in clear text. With IE plugin, there is no support on extension objects. You can't really have extension objects because extension objects are built using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So there is no support on IE plugin for extension objects. So these are the fundamental differences between IE plugin and Ajax. So let's continue on. So the next one is PGO files. So let's understand what are PGO files. 
PGO stands for Persistent Group Object. These files are locked when QVS is running. The multiple PGO files and these files contain information about like borrowed CALs, CALs in use, server settings and ticket information. So let's go ahead and see where we can see the PGO files on ClickView server. So let me log on to the server. Okay, I'm on the server. And now let's go ahead and look at the folder. It's under program data. So let me click on my computer, C drive, and then program data. If this folder is hidden, make sure to unhide this folder. Okay, so let me go on to program data. And under that, let's go ahead and click on click tech, right? And under click tech, we will see documents. This is where you will see the PGO files. And you also have a copy of these PGO files in the ClickView server folder. You will see them in here as well. I would strongly recommend not to fiddle around with these files. These files are constantly used by the QVS service. So just in case, if you have to look at the contents of these files, there's a setting options where you can change the settings.ine file. You can view them in XML format. So why is it important for you to know about these files? So the reason why we've discussed about these files is because you need to disable the antivirus monitoring on these files and folders because you don't want to have any lock while QVS is trying to read and write to these files. So let's go back to the presentation. So these are the important concepts which you need to understand before we go ahead and look at services in detail. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lesson, we'll look at individual services. Thank you for watching.